guys. How are you? This is our second chit chat and mask where we're gonna chit chat about ColourPop going to Sephora. Yes. Cause it's gonna be starting to get sold there. And there's some pros and there's some cons and I think we should talk about them. I agree. Firstly, we're going to mask up and then we'll start the little chit chat. So my mask is uh, by Perfectly Posh and it's Cackle Spackle and it's their detoxifying face mask with charcoal. It smells like spearmint. It legitimately smells like gum. And then I picked up the Pure Clay Mask Argyle Pure by L'Oreal. Like their newer, uh, it's one of their newer masks along with their red, white, and blue. Black. Huh. And she made it funny. I'm always funny. So these are both clay masks, which clearly detoxify and pull out impurities and out, out of the skin. And frankly, the one I had from Glam Glow is all dried up, which was a good one, but it's too expensive for what it is. The thing about this with the spearmint is it it has a burn. Yeah, because it's minty. <laughs> Do I smell good? Yeah, you smell minty. Today's <laughs> chit chats. We're getting down to business. Taking care of business. I don't know if it was last week or the beginning of this week. I don't know. Beginning Colourpop of announced week. that they were going to be sold in Sephora. If you're aware or not. Colourpop's been around for, I don't know, what, like? Three years? Three years. See, they're on their third anniversary shadow. Right. And it just came out recently. So they're a very, very well-known indie makeup brand. Always come out with new things. All the, all the time. time. They always sell out of their products. To me, I don't, some of it's worth it, some of it isn't. Is it correct? My thing is, is I like a lot of their lippies. I like their lippy sticks. The most. The like rest of it, I'm just not quite sure. And I'm not really quite sure how they're gonna pull this off because if you're coming out with all of these different collabs Products. and stuff, yeah. like stuff along that line. I mean, and, and, and you would collab like, like every month. Yeah, yeah if like. that, every couple of weeks. And the thing is, if you sell out constantly online and you always have a lot, like, I don't know how you make a waiting line online, but you make a waiting line online, which is annoying. Yeah. Um, how are you going to pull that off in stores, too? But they're um, also saying they're not going to up their prices. They're not going to up their prices in the store or online. And they say that their quality is going to stay the same. So pretty much world change nothing will just be sold in Sephora. I don't know if I can completely agree with that or, or I don't understand it. it. I don't know if I believe it. I don't understand how that's possible, to be honest. Maybe Sephora is like making it so that way they, they can expand it because of their, like, I don't know, that's how they're making it possible? Because Sephora, as it stands, is a higher-end branded store carrying higher-end branded skincare and makeup and such. Colourpop is, would, would essentially be the cheapest thing there next to, like, the Sephora line. Which I could see this being sold in Ulta. Right, which a lot of brands have done, like Ofra, Dose of Colors, Colors. Sleek Makeup. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are indie brands, and they've gone to Ulta, so why is ColourPop choosing mm -hmm. to go to Sephora? Sephora? And why is Sephora choosing to partner with ColourPop? I don't know what the underlying thing is there, because I think there's something. Because they like the popularity and think that it's going to make them more money. I don't know if that's... Because they have such a cult following. Trust me, I was one of them. We, I think we all were or are. How the quality will stay the same. I don't know how Sephora chose to take it versus Ulta, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, just, I, I, I just don't think I understand. So those are like kind of common things. I mean, a pro is obviously... You, you don't, don't have, have to, to wait for shipping. And you don't have to wait online. You can go in stores and swatch everything. Which is good. Um, Instead of just looking at online and stuff. Which, to me, like, the one thing I do like about ColourPop is that they, like, show you online what each color next to a similar color looks like mm -hmm. on different skin tones. Mm -hmm. So the color that you're going to buy next to colors that are similar, in case you think a different color would be suitable, that's similar to that color with other different skin tones. So swatches you didn't have to do, pretty much. Yeah. Swatch it yourself. Ten oh, times better. Always better. Because you get to see it on yourself, on your own skin tone, the texture of it, just everything about it is just better in person. 
to me. Do I hate the fact that they're coming to Sephora? Absolutely not. Do they think, do I think they're not worthy or not welcome there? I don't think so. It's just weird. It's a weird concept for me to grasp. I don't know how this conclusion came to be, but I mean, and I'm I don't not know how mad. I don't know how they're, like, I don't know how the quality is not going to change or that my friends is the question will it change will, it will not? the online be more you know less, less busy? updated less busy will it be less busy is that's a question like it, will it be less busy because if it is then that's a pro or will they only have just like permanent stuff in stores and new lines online right well they have it for separate reasons because i don't know if they can maintain two two of the same they're things. not amazon i mean i wish i was just amazon. Amazon. i mean right and the conclusion i've come to is i'm not mad at it i'm just confused i think hmm. i just want answers i'm an average like, consumer i think they need to so. do a q and a Facebook Live questions and answers. Or Instagram. Like Snapchat. They're always on Snapchat. You know, like Or post a video. Sephora even posts okay. videos from time to time. They, well, if they, they could right now, but if in the future, that would be helpful. That way, like, questions like this, when they come up, like, because I'm sure people have some of the same questions mm -hmm. as us, like, you know. I mean, the more average consumer who doesn't consume as much YouTube as we do and know about as many indie brands and products might not even know what's going on. You might not even know what ColourPop is. Right. But Which I'd be shocked. But, but, that, but that's also a con. Because when they go in the store and they see a $6 liquid lipstick compared to a, an Anastasia Beverly Hills $20 one, they're going to be like, what's, why? What's the deal? What's why going is on? It I think it would be even more confusing to them than, than people who watch YouTube all the time. Or read blogs or buy makeup, but they're not like invested in the world of yeah. it, in the industry or anything. In so. conclusion, in conclusion, I love my mask. I feel great. I feel. I still smell minty. I don't have that fragrance. It's completely gone. But um, my face just feels smooth and my pores feel fresh. tight. They feel like socks. They feel like socks, but not like sweaty socks. They feel like when you put on a fresh pay of socks. So if you want a dedicated video to our favorite face masks, leave it down in the comments. And if you know a face mask that we should try, leave it down in the comments as well. So thumbs up if you like these chit chat and mask videos. Subscribe, ring the bell, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitter, and Snapchat, and Instagram. Word. <laughs> we'll see you next time. And stay tuned. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Sephora. Having ColourPop come to them. Well, ColourPop. No, we should rephrase no. that entirely. ColourPop go into Sephora. Yeah, so we're going to start over, and I'm just going to talk. <laughs> As if she hadn't <laughs> been messing up for about five minutes before this. Okay, I got this. Right? There was a giant blow-up toilet at Slater Park, and I said, that's a real shitter. <laughs> <Ooh! laughs> I feel like I'm going to... Do very badly if I can't see. Oh, I'm just going for it. I'm just <laughs> going for it. Oh my god, don't itch your hand when you have spam it on your hands. Bad idea. Yes, I don't know if I completely have. Com can complete. Uh, you look like a dirty hobo. <laughs> <laughs> what a bitch. Is so yours hard? I feel great. That's how it is. So should we wash this off or should we wait? I feel like it hasn't been long enough. I feel like I gr I'm great. Is mine like... Yours looks hard. What? Yours looks hard. Hard? Like underpants that are getting too small. Not that kind of type. Am I paranoid? Or are you giving me signs? I think I'm